Air-to-air -air missiles come in two general types. Radar-guided missiles like the AIM-7 Sparrow, which uses reflected radar energy to track their targets, and infrared missiles like the AIM-9 Sidewinder, which track the target's heat signature. Early infrared missiles could only track targets from the rear, where they could see the heat of the engine. More modern IR missiles with improved seeker heads can track targets from any angle and are often called all-aspect missiles. Let's look at a couple of engagements using IR missiles. To attack a target with IR missiles, press the backspace key on your keyboard to cycle through your air-to-air -air weapons until you select your IR missiles. You should hear a tone or growl from the missile's seeker. That tone will change pitch when the seeker is locked onto a heat source. Press the Enter key on your keyboard or the secondary fire button on your joystick to fire the missile. IR missiles do not need you to keep your aircraft pointed at the target after launch. If you're using early infrared missiles like the AIM-9B Sidewinders on this Royal Australian Navy Skyhawk, you may have to manoeuvre to get into position for a shot. Defensive tactics against infrared missiles include manoeuvring and high-G turns to evade the missile and deploying countermeasures like flares to distract the missile. Press the X key to deploy flares. Now you know the basics of using infrared air-to-air -air missiles, it's time to get some practice. Good luck and good hunting!